Hello and welcome to a how-to video for how to create AR and AP invoices in SAP Business One. Uh, now, what we'll need here in the system is an open AR or AP invoice. Now, I chose to do both of these in one video because the process is similar um, for both. So let's start with an AR invoice. Now, we will need an open invoice here. I've already brought one up that's in our system. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this to an AR credit memo. And what that does is it brings up a credit memo here. I have the ability to make some modifications as needed. But if all is um, um, if all is good here and I don't need to make any modifications, I'm just going to go ahead and add to the system. Now what I've just done was created a credit memo there. And what I want to show you here is on the journal entry is kind of a reversal of things. Then also on our relationship map is we can see that we had a sales order to an invoice and then we did a credit memo on that. Now let's hop over and do an AP invoice. So as you can see, I already have an AP invoice up here. Same concept. Copy to. Modifications as necessary. Add and view credit memo has been created in the system there. Now, let's say that there was a payment already done and you need to open back up the invoice and then create a credit memo. I'm going to cover that as well. So what I've done was I brought up an AP invoice here that's already been paid and it's closed so I do not have the option to copy to a credit memo. Now, to open this back up what I'll do is I'm going to go into payment means here I'm going to launch the outgoing payment itself. I can also access this by going directly to outgoing payments and selecting um, this document here. But once I have it open, I can do a right click and cancel. It's going to give me a warning. I've canceled that outgoing payment. I'm going to reverse all the way back here. And when I do a refresh, everything opens back up. And I can copy to a credit memo now. Thank you for watching this video. As always, please reach out to us here at Support One with any questions. Click on the link to subscribe for more content.